So in my last tutorial, I showed you how to model um, a quick vase or vase, depends on your pronunciation. Quick vase in Maya using the polygon primitives. Okay, we made a basic cylinder and just use basic basic extrusion, scale and move tools just to make the outline of the shape. Okay, now this time we're going to try something different. We're going to use what's called the CV curve tool. Okay, and then we're going to use uh, a surface to take our curve and rotate it around and make a surface out of that curve. Now, in Maya, um, most of the time it'll start you up in this PRSP view, which is this perspective. It's basically a camera inside your scene. Now, a lot of the time you'll find that you will, you will model in this view, but sometimes you'll want to come out of it. Go into your different views, like your side, front, and top, and make changes there. So anytime you want to do that, just tap space on your keyboard, take sure into your four view. Okay, and then any window you want to work on, click on it, you'll notice a blue border will appear around the outside of it. And then tap space, and that'll bring that up to full your screen. Okay, so similar controls are down here on the left hand side. You've got your single perspective view, and then you've got your four view. Okay. So just remember, tap space will bring you out. Then whichever window you're clicked on, the active window, tap space again, will let it fill up your screen. So we want to be working on this side view. And this is going to let us draw out our curve just from the side. Okay, so what we're using is, it's in the create menu. Click create, and then CV curve tool. Okay. Now we're going to start at the bottom. If you hold down X, it does what's called snap into grid. And this little icon here will click in. This just means when we click, it'll snap us to snap snap it to the nearest grid point. Okay. So we'll do that for the first point. Okay. And now all we're gonna do is every time we click, it puts a point in place. And you'll notice when you have two or three points together, you'll notice a white line starts to appear, and that's your actual curve. Okay, so we're just going to click the add on these points. The same as before, we're going to do a little small curve here, coming up to the top. Right. Now the next thing we want to do is, we want an actual lip here, a little small lip. So we're going to have slightly more points, same way I had slightly more polygons in the last one, at certain sections. We're going to have slightly more points there. Okay. And we're going to put in the points for the inside. Okay. Now, same as before, I'm not actually going to be as accurate on the inside. And then our last point, same again, hold down X on your keyboard. Click. All right. So, if we go back, make sure you're in object mode. We come, if I come out of this view, remember tap space, I'm going to my perspective view. All we've done there is just draw out a curve. Okay. Now I'm going to move this up just so it's above the grid. You can also turn off your grid if you want, but we'll just move this up. So what we want to do now is we want to tell Maya to take this curve and rotate it around the circle to make us a new surface. And before you do the next part, over here in the top left hand corner, just make sure that you're set to surfaces. You may be setting polygons. That'll change your menu bar at the top. So just make sure you're set on the surfaces. If your object selected, when you select it, it'll go this light green color. We just want to click surfaces and revolve. Okay. What that does is just takes it as I said and revolves it round. You tap five on your keyboard, bring it into your shaded view. And see all it's done is it's taken our curve and just revolved it round. Okay. Now, same as everything, you've got a set of options. Same when you do a bevel or an extrusion, 
get a set of options that come with this revolve. Now, we could mess about with that. We could the end sweep is basically how far the revolve works. Okay, so if you only wanted it to do half, you would set it to 180. Okay, and then it's only revolved around 180 degrees. But we want it for the full thing, so we'll set it to 360. Then you got your sections. Okay. Obviously, same as before, the higher the sections, uh, when you model anything, the the smoother the smoother is going to be. So the more polygons you have, the smooth the smoother an object is. But remember, you got polygon counts to take into consideration as well. Okay, so if we do a quick render review of that, you'll see it's nice and smooth. It's just a slightly different technique than we used before. I uh, was just drawing a curve using the CV curve tool and then created a surface using a revolve. 